my most complimented perfumes in my collection ever. <laughs> if you are a regular on my channel, you will probably already know the number one fragrance of mine that is most complimented, but I've chosen five. So let's just get started. I haven't ordered this specifically from least complimented to most complimented, but I'm leaving my most favorite, most complimented perfume to last. We are starting off with Scandale Le Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And you can see I've actually nearly finished this bottle. This is a 30 ml, so it does not have the, the legs in the 50 or well, and 100 ml size bottles, the upside down legs. This one's very similar to Dior, I think it's Hypnotic Poison. There's not a lot of ingredients or notes in this perfume. So the top note is Jasmine and the base is vanilla, just vanilla, and the middle notes is caramel and salt. So it's kind of got a salted caramel vibe. Most, throughout most of the fragrance, the Jasmine does make it slightly less uh what's the word linear so it's got a floral twist it's a very typical jasmine smell but it then quickly turns and where i love this fragrance the most is in the dry down and this lasts on my skin all day so i will get into bed and i'll be like ah oh, the caramel <laughs> you know what it reminds me of like a salted caramel ice cream but like a really good one like a uh there's a sort of a famous gelateria in, it started in Sydney, it's all over Australia now, called Gelato Messina, and they have a sea salt caramel with like white chocolate chips in it or something. Anyway, it's my favourite, and it smells like this in dry down. It's delicious, and I have had that many compliments with this. More so just, mm, someone smells really yummy, or when I wear it at work and I'll sit near someone, they'll be like, you smell delicious. So lots of compliments from this one. The next one is one of my absolute favorites. I actually haven't worn this for a while. This is Eilish by Billie Eilish, but I've nearly finished it. So I probably just, I wore it a little bit too much in summer. So I just sort of gave it a rest. So it's got a really cool bottle. It's got a unique, it's kind of got like berries in the top notes and mandarin, and then it turns into like this yummy gourmand, vanilla-y. It's got like a mandarin, red berries and sugar in the top notes and it does you do get that it's sort of what it says on the tin in terms of the notes in the middle it's got rose in it i don't quite get a lot of rose but i get the spicy it just says spicy notes so i don't actually know what the actual ingredients are but it's got vanilla spicy notes and uh, cacao so it's got a like a chocolatey vanilla-y not too chocolatey spicy but then it's got rose in it. But I, I, don't, I don't really get rose. And in the dry down, it's got woody notes as well, but it's got also tonka bean, amber as well, and musk. When you get to the dry down of this, it's also kind of the triumph of this fragrance, which the only thing is I feel like this doesn't last as long as some of my other perfumes do. Not like super strong mandarin citrus, but... I think it's in there to just like lighten everything up a little bit. I get a lot of compliments with this one in the supermarket, in shops, and I can't smell it. So it's this, but it just, it projects quite well, but I'm not like, it doesn't give me a headache because I am I tend to get headaches with perfume. So I really, I love this one and I haven't really used it. I haven't reached for it recently, maybe because it's more to me a summery fragrance, but Eilish, the original. This next one is one that I tried originally on Scent Split and I fell in love with it. I used up my decant and I was like, right, I need to order this. And I remember going to order it on their website and it was sold out. And I was like, ah. anyway, then I got the email saying, we are back in stock from the actual company. And I was like, right, I'm doing it. I'm buying it. It's a niche perf perfume. It's French. It's called Escapade Gourmand by Maison Mataha. And it is, I actually used a fair bit. This is the only size they make. It's 100 mil. It's heavy. It's very, like, it's a decent perfume. It's not cheap. And there are a few, like, dupey perfumes that you can get now, I think, for this fragrance. And I'm pretty sure it's the only fragrance they make. But my goodness me. 
if you like vanilla, then I did a, like I'm on a quest, right, to find my best, the best vanillas I can perfume wise. So this was in my original scent split haul. I've since done a second one. I've done a video of two videos on it and I still reach for this and I wear it and people compliment me. I've been in doctor surgeries and they're like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? Is it you? You smell delicious. Supermarkets, people compliment me. Work, people compliment me. So the thing is, there's not many ingredients. On their website, it says that the top, top note's black sugar, the middle note is tonka bean, and the bottom note is musk. When you go to Fragrantica, they say that this has sugar cane in the top note, middle notes are vanilla and tonka bean, and the base notes are benzoin and musk. So they've added a couple of fragrances to it. So I don't know what exactly has in it because the official website has only three ingredients it's not too sickly sweet i feel like for me it's a very authentic smelling vanilla it's not overpowering or plasticky it does i think there are reviews where people say that but i think oh it just smells like ah oh, it smells like a dessert it just it's delicious and i i don't need a lot and it is divine and i always get compliments so very nice vanilla and I tried I would say oh, I've tried so many vanillas probably 30 to 40 at the moment I've tried and I haven't wanted to buy very many <laughs> this is definitely a favorite purchase of mine and I try to use it sparingly because it's not cheap but I will definitely buy another bottle of this when I run out this is another top complimented fragrance of mine I have been asked on the street Someone stopped me and wanted to know what this was. You can't actually see how much I've used, but when I shake it, it's nearly finished. This is YSL Black Opium La Parfum. The top notes in this is interesting because it's got cinnamon, pear, and mandarin. <sighs> I tried this in a 10 ml um, sample, and as soon as I smelt it and tried it on my skin, I purchased the 30 ml. It has a small tendency to overpower or give me a headache tiny tendency in the middle notes it's got jasmine very much a jasmine bomb i would say to start off with and it's got solar notes in it and a bit of orange blossom the base dry down a lot a lot a lot of vanilla patchouli coffee and three types of vanilla i think it's got Madagascan vanilla, bourbon vanilla, vanilla absolute and then also vanilla orchid four types of vanilla in the, in the base this one gets me so many compliments. Oh, I really love this. You do get a lot of jasmine to start off with, but this quickly turns into like a coffee, spicy, vanilla-y. It is more of a night fragrance if you're one to like wear light fragrances in the day. I don't care. I wear whatever. You could definitely save this for, for evenings. I immediately get pear. Um, that's what my nose picks up straight away. And then immediately I'm getting um, vanillas coming out and a coffee and a bit of a bourbony smell. Ah, <sighs> so nice. Oh my God. Jasmine as well, sort of lingering. It's just really nice. And if you are into gourmand vanilla, but like not just straight vanilla. This one is delicious. Uh, all varieties of this um, black opium. Yeah, oh, it's so nice. And then at the end, you get this really powerful uh, vanilla, but it's not like, um, it's not offensive. It's just like at the end of when you breathe it in. <laughs> it's sort of a gourmand, but it's not like, it's nowhere near like this. This is very... She knows who she is, okay? She is vanilla. She is caramel. She is creme brulee in a bottle. This is a bit more grown up, if I know, because this is sophisticated vanilla. This is not like girly vanilla, mm, but this is also a very good layering fragrance. You do get a floral undertone, but it's not like in your face, and I can smell a bit of mandarin. Oh, it's just so nice. It's just so nice. 
nice. Why it does so well is the coffee kind of rains in the vanilla because it's got so much vanilla in it, but it's sort of grown up. It's not plasticky at all. It's balanced nicely by the coffee and by the little bit of jasmine floral hints to it, the bit of citrus at the start. There's a bit of spicy cinnamon in it. So it is quite a warm fragrance. The other reason I really like this, this perfume house in particular, they sell 10 mil sizes. So you don't have to invest heavily to try this out and see if it's for you. And if you are even still unsure, you can go to any scent uh, decant website and you can probably get this for a couple of like $10 or something. So yes, she gets me a lot of compliments and I love her very much. I don't wear it all the time. Sort of what I'm wearing and my mood depends on what perfume I pick up. We are up to my absolute favorite perfume of all time and it's still my most complimented perfume of all time. <sighs> I don't care what anyone else says. I bloody love this perfume and it's worth the hype. I'm going to do a whole video on this baby. Next, this is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. <sighs> oh my god. Ah, I've been wearing this perfume for literal decades. <laughs> so this perfume was released in 2007. I have been wearing this fragrance for 17 years. 17. And I've bought 100 mil. I haven't gone to like the huge size, but I have had every size you can. Ever since I bought it, I have consistently had compliments whenever I wear this fragrance. I've feel like it's very rare if I if I wear it to work don't always get compliments because people know what it smells like already they know that's what I smell like but if I go anywhere random in my day someone will ask me what I'm wearing like bottle shop you know what are you wearing supermarket on the street um McDonald's <laughs> so ah oh, and why this is fantastic Yes, it's expensive, but it's a it's a unisex fragrance, so you could share this with your partner if you weren't like keen on spending so much on just one perfume. But you can get the smaller 10 mil or it's nine 10 mil travel size as well to try, or you can buy a decant from Scent Split, which is in the link in the description. The beauty of this fragrance is it's kind of like it's not too boozy, like if you've had by the fireplace. That is a very smoky fragrance. This is not smoky, but it's got like tobacco. Is it literally in the name? But it's tobacco leaf. So it's not, it's not like the smoky part of tobacco. It's the bit before you smoke it. <laughs> the opening is spicy and tobacco leaf. Base is woody notes and dried fruits. And then in the middle is where the magic happens. Vanilla, cacao, tonka bean and tobacco blossom. So there's a bit of tobacco kind of throughout because at the bottom of the base it says woody notes. We don't actually know what it is. But it's kind of got a warming scent. I don't, do I spray it? How much have I got left? Half a bottle. Okay, let's give it a go. Immediately I get a, a boozy smell mixed with like, oh, it's just so damn good. It's hard to explain. It's got this warming feeling as well, like on the skin and it just feels like it's kind of a boozy, it's sort of Christmassy, but to me it's not because I wear it all the time. Initially it's got, oh, it's not even that masculine as Oh, it's just so nice. It does smell a bit Christmassy actually now. Like if I'm not thinking about it from 17 years worth of wearing this fragrance. Yeah, it's I can smell the leaf, tobacco leaf style and the the spiciness that's in it and then the woody notes and the fin they all kind of even though it's got like top middle bottom notes, they all kind of are a bit of a symphony together, working together. It's just so bloody good and it, like it's already turning more vanilla -y. Oh, It's really, it's comforting, it's sophisticated, it's a little bit dark and mysterious. It's just very, it's got a sexy, cosy, inviting, it's very memorable and people can smell it as well and if they know this fragrance they will know what it is. 
always, always, always my favorite. I don't care what anyone else says. They are my current most complimented fragrances in my perfume collection. It's August 2024, just in case this is relevant. <laughs> what are your most complimented fragrances in your perfume collection? Do you have any that I have? Do you dislike any that I have? Do you get similar compliments to me with any of these fragrances if you have them? If you're interested in my perfume collection video, there will be a link on screen for you if you would like to stick around and watch that one. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!